you guys doing Eric here today is Friday February 23rd 2018 and yeah I'm sick man I woke up yesterday morning and I was like I don't know I thought I had to, I thought I had just had a hangover because I had drank a few beers the night before maybe a couple more than I should have and I think that's why I got sick because I weakened my immune system by drinking too much. So yeah, I, thought, I just thought it was kind of like a hangover yesterday on my day off. Yeah. But then it, didn't, it just didn't go away. So I figured it out, man, I'm fucking, I, I think I got the flu. And so yeah, yesterday was a tough day, man. I was just sitting around the house all day, kind of shivering, chills. And so yeah, last night was a tough night too, man. I just. I couldn't, you know, I just laid in my bed with a bunch of blankets on me, shivering, you know, chill, really bad chills. Woke up this morning and, man, I still had the chills real bad. But yeah, anyways, I, like last night when I was sleeping, man, I had the weirdest fucking dreams, man. Whenever, whenever I get a fever, I start getting, I have really, really, really weird dreams. And just, so I didn't sleep very well. I just kind of laid in bed all night shivering sweating under the blankets and I think I might have just sweated it out you know and I feel a lot better this morning you know after I got up this morning I still felt like shit called in sick to work and then I took some Alka-Seltzer plus cold medicine drank a bunch of orange juice made myself some breakfast and now I'm feeling I'm kind of feeling better now but yeah, I don't know if I'm better or not. You know, it just could be just the the, medi the the medicine that's making me feel better, and I, I still I still got the flu. But yeah, I think I think I got it kicked pretty good, man. Like I I can feel like my fever's gone down, and so Dingo wanted to go for a hike, so I thought you know I'll go take Dingo for a hike go to the store and get some more orange juice but yesterday I drank some chicken soup and I also had chicken noodle soup and I also had some tomato soup I'm drinking plenty of fluids so but yeah you know it's kind of interesting topic the flu man it was everybody's talking about how bad the strain of flu is this year and how if you get the flu shot it's only 10% effective and and a lot of people that get the flu shot end up getting the flu I've never had a flu shot so I don't know man I, I seem to have not too much problem kicking it man like every time I get the flu it's usually just one or two days and it's gone so hopefully that'll remain the case and by tomorrow I'll be able to go back to work but yeah they're saying this the strain of flu this year so is really bad and it's killing people like there's a, a really high mortality rate especially with people over 50 and but man I just seem to have I don't seem to have too much of a problem kicking it so yeah that's that's kind of fortunate man I'm glad that I've never had a flu shot I think and, uh, yeah I was watching some videos this morning about it like Donald Trump's never had a flu shot he was saying and he's He's never had the flu in his life, he says. So, yeah, I think the, the goddamn flu shot's a big fucking a hoax, a scam. It's like a fucking, they're really, it's really bad for you, man. They, they're giving it to all these people and like guilting people into getting it. You know, like, if you don't get a flu shot, then you're putting the whole world at risk. So they want to make you seem like, even people that have a flu shot, you're putting them at risk by not getting one. It's such bullshit, man. This whole vaccination, fucking all the all the vaccines they give people, man. They say by the time a, a child's like six months old, they give them like 27 different fucking vaccines, man. Like in one one sitting, they give them like nine shots, and it's just fucking just just fucks up the kid's health for the rest of their life. So yeah. Anyways, also this morning. I checked out I, I, uh, nine days ago. I sowed the seeds for my pepper plants. Well, 
I got two of them germinated, so that's pretty cool. At least I'll have two jalapeno pepper plants. Those are the only two that have germinated so far. I, got, I also planted a bunch of, or I sowed a bunch of uh, habanero seeds, which are really hot, related to ghost peppers, and a bunch of cayenne seeds. Neither one of those have sprouted yet, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get some of them to, to germinate, and I should have a, a really good time the rest of the year growing my pepper plants. Man, I really enjoy that. Anyways, yeah, I just thought since I'm not working today, I didn't make a video yesterday. I thought I'd make a little video today about the flu. Hopefully, just. I got it kicked and I won't I won't be sick tomorrow and I still feel a little bit weak but man it's amazing I'm pretty fortunate that I'm able to to beat the flu I don't know how I don't know what it is anyways oh yeah man it's kind of interesting I think I think I got the flu man it's like you know before when I was a kid when I used to get the flu I used to get nausea and fucking vomiting but in recent you know as i gotten older i don't really get nauseous when i get the flu i just get body aches chills you know cold sweat but i think what the the the, the key to killing it is overheating your body you get under the blankets and sweat and get your body get get your fever really high because that's what that's what kills the virus it can only survive in a certain temperature and that's why your body develops a fever is to cook basically cook the virus out of your out of your system because once you once your body hits a certain fever temperature it kills the virus and then you and then you break your fever so i think that's what happened last night i took some nyquil and that helped a little bit and I woke up this morning, I took some Alka-Seltzer Plus, and so, yeah, I think that's a big part of it though, is, is staying warm and just basically cooking the virus out of your system. But yeah, I would say the worst part of it for me is the chills, man. I fucking hate the chills, man, I really do. But I think that's part of your body telling you that you need to keep yourself warm in order to overheat your body to get rid of the virus and also staying hydrated is key but anyways yeah I'm all out of orange juice now so I'm gonna I'm gonna head down to my local convenience store grab some more orange juice and I like to mix it half and half with water because it's just too powerful for me but and then keep myself hydrated with vitamin C and hopefully I'll be fine tomorrow. But it's kind of interesting though because like back when I was in my 20s I worked for a company and they would give out free flu shots every year and like everybody would be trying to get me to take one you know and I, somehow I just instinctively knew that I shouldn't take the flu shot that it was gonna weaken my own immune system. Check it out man there's one jalapeno seed germinated and there's the other so at least I'm gonna have hopefully they'll survive and I'll have at least two jalapeno plants